Hey guys, so I wanted to get on here quickly to talk about iOS 16.1 before Apple decides to release the software to the general public. I figured there's a few things, a few issues that I wanted to make you guys aware in case you decide to update, you already know what's going on. Now, of course, a lot of the bugs and things that happen on one device doesn't mean it's going to happen on every single device, but I wanted to make you guys aware of a few issues that I've encountered with iOS 16.1. Now, as of the filming of this video, Apple released the RC, which is the release camera candidate. Today is Friday the 21st and Apple could very well release a second RC. This has happened before in order to fix minor last minute issues and it hasn't happened as of yet. If they do release a second RC, I'll let you guys know and I'll update you guys in the description down below. But as of right now, let's take a look at iOS 16.1 RC, the last final release which is expected to be released in the next three days on October the 24th which is a Monday and there's a few things you should know about. So let's just get right into this video. Video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. So the first thing I would like to talk about is FaceTime. FaceTime on iOS 16.1, the RC, I still have issues with audio. Now, sometimes I would call and the audio will break right when I'm talking to someone. It breaks up constantly. And there's a major issue with AirPods and also FaceTime as well. So when I initiate a FaceTime call on iOS 16.1 with my AirPods in my ear, the person just simply cannot hear me on the other end. I I would have to hang up, initiate the FaceTime call without the AirPods, and then connect my AirPods in order to use my AirPods with the audio on FaceTime. So FaceTime audio and FaceTime in general has been having issues cutting the audio and also having issues with using AirPods initially when you go to make a phone call. So just so you know, if you use FaceTime a lot and you like to use your AirPods to FaceTime, 16.1 does have audio issues and it can get annoying. You would have to quit the application and close the FaceTime call. And and then go back and reinitiate it and then put your AirPods in your ear. Something that's annoying, it's currently a bug on 16.1. Now, another bug with AirPods as well on 16.1 is that sometimes when I go ahead and open my AirPods and I go to put one in my ear, Although both AirPods would have 100% battery life, one of them would say that is dead for some reason. And then I would close it out, put it back in the AirPod case, close it out, open it back up, and then the battery percent would actually display the proper percentage. The problem is that when it does this, when it shows that one of the AirPods is low, if I don't catch it, the bug, right? Then when I put it in my ear, the AirPod itself just shuts down. I think the software kind of tells it, hey, it's running out of battery and sort of shuts down for some reason. So yeah, AirPods prompt with an error of the battery percentage, right? There's also also a bug on 16.1, something that's annoying and I have had this happen to me several times here as well. Now, one bug that I've noticed within 16.1 after updating to the RC is that we continue to get some apps freezing and respringing on the iPhone. So for example, the TV app will sometimes respring on me. The Photos app sometimes will respring on me. Even the camera will also freeze. And a bigger, bigger issue here when I launch some apps is that sometimes they won't let me swipe them away. I would get stuck inside of the app and I cannot swipe it away. The best thing and the only thing I can do in order to fix this sometimes is go into the lock screen, re-unlock my iPhone, and then get into the application and swipe it away. It would just lock in place. And sometimes I would have to actually press the side and power button to reboot my iPhone in order to get it back to working order. So yeah, freezing of certain application, and this has happened with Apple apps, by the way. No third-party app has locked me in. It happens with the Apple apps on my iPhone. So let me know if you encounter this issue. It's something that I've also noticed happen here on 16.1, the RC. And last but not least, I would like to talk about the battery. Now, I am running a battery test on about 9 to 10 iPhones currently. Those videos take 24 to 48 hours. They take a long time to film. So stay tuned here to the channel. Hopefully, I'll get those videos done before the official release. Maybe Sunday, I'll release those videos. Uh, just stay tuned here to the channel. Those videos will be coming shortly on battery test 16.0.3 versus 16.1 on a lot of iPhones. But in regards to battery, as I mentioned, the battery on iPhone iOS 16.1 on my main device, the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is the largest, newest iPhone, I have to say the battery just isn't the best. I get barely through my entire day when before on iPhone 13 Pro Max on iOS 15.4 or newer, I would get through my entire day easily. Right now, when I go ahead and uh, use my iPhone 14 Pro Max on 16.1, the battery reaches 10 to 
percent before the end of the day i do make it through my entire day however it is just barely making it through the entire day so if you're a heavy user the battery could be an issue for you on ios 16.1 and again i'm using the biggest largest newest iphone right now so yeah keep that in mind that the battery just isn't the best on ios 16.1 and again battery test video in the works it should be out here on the channel within the next 48 hours or so so hopefully i can get that done for you guys and those are a few bugs and issues on 16.1 rc that i wanted to share with you guys before the official release within three days of the filming of this video so in case you decide to update just know these issues could occur now keep in mind these issues may not occur to you but just wanted to make you guys aware since i've been testing the software since this initial beta release and there you guys have it just a quick update before you update to 16.1 thank you for watching guys have a great day and i'll see you on the next one peace